welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name's Lindsay and I'm an art person from Scotland. Hi. So today I'm taking part in the second week of Portrait Artist of the Week. If you haven't seen my previous video, last week was the first week and there was a live paint along hosted by the people who created the show Portrait Artist of the Year. Whilst the series is on the TV, they're also having like a virtual little sister show called Portrait Artist of the Week where they get a celebrity sitter and a contestant who has previously been on the show and everybody sits for four hours on a Sunday and we have a paint along so it's all done over zoom everyone's in their own individual houses and yeah it's been great fun so last week was Annie Mac the Radio 1 DJ and um, this is my painting I'll show you so this is my painting from last week I did this is my first oil painting in like four years but I'm pretty chuffed with how it turned out I've not glossed it yet it's still quite tacky here you can kind of see in the darker colors um, but yeah, I think it kind of went okay. Pretty chuffed with it. Which way you just don't know how to flush the toilet? Disgusting! <laughs> I'm going to the shop, my love. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out all right. I, I've made a few mistakes, a few errors. I rushed into it. <laughs> I usually spend a lot more time mapping out and getting everything right, so I always have quite an accurate sketch to begin with. But I just kind of like built it out of like blobs, and it kind of it got there in the end. But it, I think. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So that video, I'll make sure that it's linked to the at the end of this video and also in the description if you want to give that one a watch. And um, hold on, I'll put this away. So the sitter today is Nihal Arthnyaka, who's a Radio Five Live uh, presenter and like podcast host and things. And the artist who's taken part is Dorian Radu, who's taken part in two series of Portrait Artist of the Year. It's been going on for a while, but everybody's just kind of been chatting and not actually started yet. So I'm going to be in now. And again, starting a little bit later because these things are on Sundays. <laughs> So, as you can tell, I've already started, kind of, and I'm going for something a little bit different this week. My portrait of Annie Mac, I was struggling with colour. I found, so, a good technique if you're wanting to bring out more vibrant colours is get rid of all the white, which I kind of did last week, but everything was still a bit wishy-washy. So I started and I've painted my canvas board red. I've just used red acrylic and that will hopefully make me more conscious of colour. <clears throat> and I'm also gridding this week just to see how different it is from last week when I didn't grid. So I'll show you, come see. So I went with a, uh, god, one, two, three, four, five, six along, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down, ah, elbow. So yeah, that that's kind of it, I don't need to show you anymore. So because I'm gridding, I have screenshotted um, Nihal. And I'm thinking I'm going to go for either. <sighs> this is it. This is the bit where like I'm going to either have a great time or I'm going to hate myself for this decision in a couple of hours. So I'm either going for the. Hold on, come here again. Come on. So I have chosen to go for either this one or not that one. I think this one. So the big difference is teeth or no teeth. I think I'm gonna go teeth, you know, because he's a very happy, bubbly guy, so I think that's not an apt representation of him, like his character, so, oh god, right, I'm gonna go for this one. So now it's just a case, I'm gonna import that photo into, import, um, import that photo into Photoshop and grid it up and get started on the sketch. Let's do this. Although I'm kind of conscious that you can't really see it because of the 
graphite of like the pencils reflecting off the window, but I'll kind of show you. Ugh. So I've got like a really, really basic shape down. Like I've just got the outlines of all the main features. Ugh, the headphones, I think there might be a challenge. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got like basic proportions now. But the thing when you do a sketch is that you lose the sketch almost immediately once you start adding paint. And then you've got to just, so it's just basically a helping hand to begin with. But then you won't see it at all. You still have to rely on your eye and checking the reference photo all the time. So I think I'm going to get started and put some paint on. Mm -hmm. So I think, let me start, I think I'm going to go with, let me check this is clean. Ooh. So I think I'm going to start with this cheek here. Um, I don't know why. So I'm just going to mix up my colours, just making sure to get like all the undertones in as well. So I'm mixing a bit of burnt umber, uh, no, burnt umber, burnt sienna and this colour. <laughs> what are you called? <laughs> Uh, yellow ochre and just kind of gonna put it on. <laughs> moving the camera. <laughs> Maybe I should actually. <laughs> Hi. Focus. Hi. Um, so now I'm going in and adding the whites of the teeth, I think. They're, apart from the whites of his eyes, the brightest part of the painting. And I was just working on the mouth and I was like, this will be good for the rest of the portrait if I nailed the colour of the teeth because um, they're the brightest part so then everything else will be in reference. I just kind of went quite neutral so far there hasn't been many darks and there hasn't been many brights so I'm just going in and adding the teeth now so I'm basically just taking titanium white and then mixing ever so slightly a little bit of that um, yellow ochre colour um, because you don't want to make the teeth too white that it looks like Rylan but then you don't want to make them too yellow either because then he has lovely white teeth and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going in and adding them now so I just thought I would explain that to you. I've had a coffee. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. Hello. So I'm now going to add in his eyebrows I think and then that was probably going to lead <laughs> um, I'm going to add in his eyebrows and then I think that's going to start the eye details the I've added in quite a bit of dark in like the corners of his mouth and I think I'm going to try and keep that tone I've not got black on my palette at all today um, I'm just going to try and darken everything with blue and green and burnt umber, I think, and just try and keep that and um, stay away from black and because you tend to, once you've added in black, it tends to muddy things. I maybe will sometimes use black if I'm doing like the pupil of the eye or maybe just to make that brown a little bit darker because I can't quite get it right. Because when you look at something that is black, it's not black because it's got something, it's got the light reflecting off of it. It's maybe near a blue surface, so it's reflecting blue or near red surface and it actually looks more red. So yeah, um, it's just chat and shape. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna do the eyebrows and eyes. Hmm. Hello! <laughs> I look so stupid behind me. Hi! Um, so I think I've been working on it for roughly two hours now. I had to charge my camera for a little bit so I went ahead and started working on the eyes and then adding in like the dark tones of his hair and like one side of his headphones. But yeah, I've really been enjoying it. I think having the grid down initially has really helped me with proportions and likeness and stuff and I'm just trying to get down all of the colours as much as possible in quite a flat way and then I think 
because the clocks went back last night, I've got an hour less daylight than I did last weekend. So I think I'm probably gonna have to leave it. Um, I'm gonna work on it a little bit more, but I think I'm gonna have to leave it and maybe work on it in a couple of days time, which I did with my Annie Mac and I left it and it's slightly dried. So I was able to add in more textures and the paint wasn't all just like smooshing into each other because oils take like forever to dry. So I'll show you um, how it's looking so far. So here we go. I went in and added just like some basic, that was the chair, not a fart. <laughs> I went in and added like just some basic tones of the eyes just to get like the shapes in and stuff. And then started on like the headphones and then up around into his hair. But I'm pretty chuffed with it. I'm really, really glad I went for a smile because Nihal is just so funny. Um, and we've been learning quite a lot about him and the artist Dorian Madu because they're both really into hip hop, which is quite cool. And he said that the reason he wanted to wear like his big chunky headphones is because he's a radio DJ. And he spends like most of his life wearing those headphones. And um, it's quite cool because someone's messaged in and said, hold on. Folk are messaging on the Facebook page and someone said, I'm so glad that you're wearing headphones because I hate drawing ears. <laughs> so it's just so cool. Like the same experience as last week. I think I said it last week. It's just like everyone's having the same experience but they're all turning out totally different. I'm so glad that I've painted it red as well. I think it's really, really helped with his skin tone because he's got like really nice pink cheeks. <laughs> Try and say that without sounding creepy. And it's really complimented. I think, I really like it on red, but I think I will probably paint it out because um, he's sitting in front of like a white background. He's got loads of frames behind him, but I don't think I'm gonna add them in. I think I'm gonna keep it quite plain because the Annie Mac one's quite plain as well. Well, it is a plain background. And I think, if, if fingers crossed, I get my bum to my easel every week, that it'd be quite nice if they all look somewhat similar with a plain background. I don't know, someone else might have an amazing background that I want to like to include. But yeah, I'm having lots of fun. <laughs> but because I started later, it's actually coming up for, it's just like half three-ish now, and it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I think next thing I'm gonna move on to is the beard. Um, so I'll show you how I think I'm going to do it. As I said last week, the tip, I, I think, for oils is dark to light, thin to thick. So I think I'm gonna get down like a base color and make his, focus this camera. I think I'm gonna try and get his face, shut up, his beard to look darker than it is because it is quite gray, it's quite salt and peppery. And then maybe add some more lighter gray on top and then maybe see how it's looking in a couple of days and then maybe add in like some finer little fi fine lines and stuff so yeah um i'll show you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in initially underneath i don't know if you can actually see here on the screen he's got like a little thinner part of his beard here that you can actually see like his skin through so i think i'm whilst i've got that paint colour kind of mixed on my palette and then just really roughly right so dark to light remember that Lindsay don't get carried away <laughs> I probably will completely abandon that theory but <laughs> we'll just try anyway so his darkest parts of his beard are definitely in the you know, moustache area <sighs> I'm kind of like taking my brush diagonally to mimic like the direction of how his beard is growing. Where it kind of joins up to his hair and then it kind of falls all the way down this way and kind of has the shape of like his chin. Oh my god, I don't know if you, wow I'm close. I don't know if you can hear my neighbours. Bone just going, pick up the fucking phone. I'm not adding more paint to my brush, I'm just trying to uh, get a bit of dark down so that when I paint the lighter colours on top these will show through underneath like so and then I'm just gonna crack on with this because I'm absolutely why am I so close? Hi! <laughs> um, <laughs> out we go, out we go now I'm just gonna crack on with this and I'll give you a wee time lapse and then I shall report back to you soon Bye! <laughs>
how the beard is turning out. It's definitely working for me in my favour from going dark to light. Um, but I need to stop now because our Tesco food shops arrived. <laughs> Pandemic! Tee -hee. Don't know if I'll be able to continue tonight by the time we've put everything away and wiped stuff down. Do any of you still wipe stuff down when you get a shop? We do. Um, and probably will do for a while. <laughs> Just helps ease the brain. Anyway, so I might be back later on today. I might be back tomorrow, depending on how much light I've got by the time I'm done. So anyway. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. Excuse the hoodie. This hoodie has now decided to be a paint hoodie. Probably starting to run out of big comfy clothes because big comfy clothes always end up as paint clothes. Um, so, hello. You'll have just seen that I made a bit of a, a big change to the paint in yesterday. So today's Thursday now. And I painted out all of the red. So come see. Doing the weather. Um, so I've painted out all of the red and replaced it with this like a light blue grey colour um, but I think I will darken it a little bit because it looks a little bit too much like a, pla a passport photo <laughs> um, and then I went in and put like really basic tones down for his top went round, finished basic flat shapes of the headphones and kind of just been tinkering with the skin tone making sure to add in like different colours like properly looking to see like where's green, where's more yellow and um, so like, around here there's more green and green here and then I went in on the beard and added like a lighter white but I think now that I have painted the background light that I can put more highlights on top of the colour. I don't want to make it too wishy-washy and lose the reason why I was painting on a red canvas to begin with because the red canvas has given me more vibrant colours but now that I've got a source of a lighter colour it does make everything look a bit flat. So it's the darkest day that Glasgow has ever had today, I think. It's not got light. Oh. <laughs> this camera. Oh boy. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. Right. Um, so yeah, today is the darkest day. We've not had any daylight today at all. So I'm gonna just try and work with what I've got because the paint and deadline is tomorrow at two. So I want to get it finished today, I think. And then gives me time tomorrow to photograph it because that was the thing that I forgot about last week, how difficult it is to photograph a painting. So I want to give myself plenty of time and get it up way before the two o'clock deadline. Not in a, I don't know why, I don't have any expectations of it. I just would like it to be, I don't know, I want it to be part of the collective. Um, I don't know what I'm saying, shop. <laughs> Hi. I'm just gonna kind of crack on, I think. I don't think I'm gonna speak much more. And then I'll just show you it when it's finished. Please. <laughs> <sighs> Are you listening? Damn. 